Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video what we're going to talk about is rotation and how you can pivot exactly like some of the greatest players that have ever played the game. However, before we get to that, hey, if you like the video, please hit the like button because somehow it helps with the algorithm and it helps the channel grow. Okay, so let's understand the pivot or the rotational move. There's a, uh, yeah, I'm just like you guys. I go online, I look at all the different golf instruction that's out there. I watch all the different guys. And lately I've been seeing this, well, the reason you can't rotate is because you don't get the club deep enough or you don't get turned and come up here and then drop this thing down or the multiple of different reasons they say that you can't rotate. Well, rotation of the pelvis and how the upper body is going to follow that seems to be quite a big deal for a lot of people but I'm going to show you how to simplify it because when you get to impact your body should be open but a lot of amateurs when they get to impact their chest is still facing the ball the pelvis hasn't rotated the pelvis hasn't opened there's all these crazy things it's because the way that you're thinking about it are, is allowing you to perform it incorrectly incorrectly you can get your pelvis to open up more than you can even imagine just by understanding really how to do it really how to do it okay so we have to think of a couple things. You guys have all seen me in some of the videos where I've had the box around me and I'm showing us how to move and all these different things. And what we're going to do right now is understand a very simple thing. Okay. Most amateurs, the way they think of rotation is that, okay, let's say they're doing what Hogan did. They trigger the belt buckle moves level. They get over to this right side, way, this way, way, not a good thing to do. And then they, recenter maybe if they're lucky but normally they'll push this way laterally and then they start rotating and when they rotate it feels like the hips are trying to physically turn okay and that's the idea it's like oh everybody says i gotta rotate so they get up here and they try to rotate they end up coming over the top the rotation shuts down there's all kinds of crazy things that happen because the rotation, believe it or not, is an illusion. It's an illusion. And what do I mean by that? You're going to be going, Chris, no, that's not true. Everybody rotates. Yes, we do. But when you learn how to move your pelvis correctly, you're going to understand it really is an illusion of what you're looking at. Because you have to understand, let's start here. Let's take this 90 degree angle that's in front of me. And for those of you who can't see that, here it is. It's truly a if I can get it right to the camera view, it's truly a 90 degree angle, but now we're gonna place it in front of us. So instead of thinking we're turning laterally like this, we know that when we get set up, we're in a tilt. So this tilt has now moved my spine forward and my bottom part of my butt has gone up, but I haven't tried to push it back. It's just because I've been forward, the pelvis goes up, okay? When we're in our posture like this, because we're tilted forward, this angle of the 90, if it was flat like this, if I was standing up straight, the angle of the 90 tilts forward as well. So now all of a sudden we get set up like Hogan. We've got the little knee kicked in. The rifle's pointing where we want to go. All this wonderful stuff. Here's the 90 in front of me. So when we go back, we start our swing. We trigger to the lead side. Then the lead side is moving. We're going to call this the, the lead side of the 90 and the trail side of the 90. So all of a sudden it's going lead side of the 90. It's taking my body into the trail side of the 90. So all of a sudden I'm at the top. There comes my recenter move. So the second I've rebalanced, now here's the 90. The second I have rebalanced, I have to start working up that 90. So it's this way. It's this way, okay? And what is that really doing? What is it really doing? Is it creating a lever system? It absolutely is, because all of a sudden you're like this. Here, I've rebalanced. Now, the second I've rebalanced, now it's lever. And look at how there's still some bend in this knee, just like Mr. Hogan. So it's kind of, you're here, you made your moves, you've rebalanced. 
there, there, there. And I am still in this bent knee position and all this, but I have levered my hip, but I'm not pushing back with my foot. I'm not, I don't even care about what my foot's doing. I care about what my pelvis is doing here. And when I worry about my pelvis, now my lower body and my feet are just going to start reacting to what my pelvis is doing. Because again, the swing happens from the inside out, not the outside in. Everything will follow correctly if you can just learn how to move your body correctly. And not only learn how to move your body correctly, understand why you are doing it. We are in no way, shape, or form moving laterally, going into early extension, doing all these different things. We are staying in our posture. Now we're going to work that 90. There it is, head stand back. Now I'm coming into impact. The head would be behind the golf ball. And now I can just accelerate and come up into the finish. It gets pretty simple because like anything else, watch this. Here's the 90. The left side of the 90 is over here, guys. So all of a sudden are the lead side. So when I've made my rebalance move, now I am just working up, up this 90 over here. And I mean right now. Don't baby and try to come around it it's once you've rebalanced work that 90 and then all of a sudden what will happen is it'll start coming down and you will see how you've got this 90 degree relationship coming through which is going to take us up and come to the top pretty simple so when you can understand this it is all about the 90 degree angle hogan did not see the same pattern I'm telling you right now, he didn't see the same pattern that is being taught how to make the modern swing today. He saw a pattern with this 90 degree angle in front of him, which allowed him to, I'll do it in real slow motion for us, which allowed him to get here, there he comes, here he comes, rebalance because everything is just working this real tight 90 that would be really up close to him so all of a sudden when he's rebalanced now it's just that it's just this way and when you do that you're going to feel your glutes you're going to feel your core you're going to feel everything just wanting to thrust up which is why hogan's hands went up so high but you have to have to learn how to lever the pelvis to really start getting your body to open period because watch this here we go guys i'm set up good stuff like mr hogan boom trigger to the left to start everything rebound off the left to come back going to the top here we go here's our the orbit of the elbow causes me to rebalance then from here it's lever lever and you'll feel your glutes you'll feel your legs you'll feel all these wonderful things because look at the angle that i'm at and i haven't hit the ball yet but because i've levered the system look what happened to my chest it's open it's not rotating open it's levering open and then all of a sudden i'm like right here and i can just shoo, Throw that ball exactly where I want to go. So make sure you start to understand the lever system of the pelvis, and I promise it is going to help with your rotation. We'll see you in the next video.